Okay, today I'm going to talk about a couple of misses that I've had on this particular item that I'm trying to find. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I am begging you, dear readers, I mean listeners, that if you know something better, please tell me because I need something better than what I found so far. What I'm talking about today is dry shampoo. Now this is something that is so useful if you get highlights. Obviously I get highlights in my hair and I want them to last longer. And the less you shampoo your hair, you know they just last longer and they look better. So I'm looking for something about to use every like third day. I know three days not washing your hair sounds disgusting, but, and I don't, I'm usually an every other day girl, but I'm trying to go an extra day sometimes, especially if like today my grandkids are coming over to swim. So I don't want to wash my hair and fix it. And, uh, but I want it to look decent. So uh, today would be a day I might just spray it with dry shampoo. So let me talk about what I experienced in my quest. Okay. The first thing I tried is something that we used to use as teenagers and people still use it all the time and I think it works for some people but I retried it um, a few weeks ago and oh, I didn't like it. It was this baby shampoo. Okay? I mean baby powder. Um, it got my hair all staticky. I couldn't get it out of my hair. I don't know if baby powder has gotten finer than when we were teenagers. I don't remember but it just didn't work as good as it used to back then. And I guess back then it really wasn't that great of a thing. Anyway, so dry shampoo, I mean, baby powder off my list. Now, the second product I went and tried, I bought it at Walgreens. It's called Psst, okay? It's P-S-S-S-S-S-S-T. It comes in a red and white bottle or can spray. And um, it was about... $5.99 I think and um, it worked. I really liked it. I liked the smell and it worked great. However, the first can I got, the third time I used it, the sprayer broke. The second, so I took it back to Walgreens and exchanged it for a new can. The exact same thing happened. The sprayer just completely stopped working. I don't think it was clogged, but if it was, I don't know how to unclog it. So I returned that. When I returned that, Walgreens was having like some kind of special beauty day and this woman that worked there talked me into buying this. Now I don't still have the can, but this was the what I bought the second time. I don't know if you can see it, but it comes in a can like this. I just wanted you to see what it looked like. It's John Frieda and it's it's just called Volume Refresher. Now this product was $6.49. I liked it, I loved the smell, but I didn't really think it cleaned my hair. It poofed my hair, which I guess in some respects made it look cleaner, but I didn't think it cleaned my hair like I would expect a dry shampoo to, if that makes sense. Um, plus, I only got about four uses out of this can, and I don't have like really long hair or thick hair or anything. And I just felt like that was a lot of money for four or five uses. So, I don't think I'm going to repurchase that. It was a very small can, like small, like I was really surprised. Okay, the last thing I tried was a couple of weeks ago, I bought this Suave Dry Shampoo Spray. I'm sure you've seen the ad. It's kind of a new um, product. It's been out maybe a month or two. It was, I think, $2.75 or something along those lines. I got it at Walmart. Now, this definitely works. It poofs your hair and I feel like it really cleans your hair. However, there is a drawback to it. The smell. It's a very, very strong smell. It smells kind of like um, lemon lime, but it smells to me like a fake lemon lime candle. You know how a candle is supposed to smell like something but smells fake, but it sort of smells like? This sort of smells like a lemony lime smell. Now, the smell's really strong. 
and it tends to linger longer than I would want it to linger on my hair. Like the other day, my husband and I were going to go see Pirates of the Caribbean, and he said, we'll go at 11.50, and I said, great. So I still had like two hours to get ready, so I'm drinking my coffee, just enjoying Saturday morning, and all of a sudden, he comes up to me, and he goes, I think we should go to the 10.30. What? I had like 20 minutes to get out the door and I wasn't I was gonna take a shower and everything and I was like oh my gosh so I ran in I put on my makeup my hair looked awful I sprayed it with this stuff my husband happened to come in the bathroom right after I sprayed it and he's like <laughs> what's that smell oh, you know so I said it's my dry shampoo that I had to use because you are rushing me so anyway we dashed off to the movie great movie by the way um but I felt like I smelled like Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, it kind of smells tropical in not such a good way. Um, I'm not knocking the product. I think I will definitely buy it again unless you can please tell me something better that works really good, volumizes your hair, and doesn't smell so bad. Now, I used this again the other morning, and um, a perfect use for this to me would be... Um, like I said, kids are coming over to swim or something, and I just want to poof my hair up for no reason. I would use this, okay? I lost my train of thought, obviously. The reason I would use this, I've already told you why I would use it. I don't want to redo this whole video, so you know what? I'm ending it now because I totally lost my train of thought, and I don't want to do this again. And I am going to learn to edit videos so that all this looks super professional, but for right now, no. Um... So that's it for dry shampoo. I hope that you enjoyed this review and I hope that you will leave me a message, a comment, and tell me if you found a great dry shampoo because I'll totally go out and buy it and try it. Thanks. Bye-bye.